Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, talk about the uh, the counselor's corner. All right. I was um, I was thinking the other day, and I'm going to ask you to you know talk about the show. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, it's it's the grown and sexy crowd. You, you know, it it it's um it's the Gen Xers. Uh, it's it's uh. Yeah, it's, it's the grown and sexy crowd. But anyway, tell us about the Counselor's Corner. You guys you guys do a show on Monday night. I know Monday, you also have a Facebook page. Monday nights um, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we pretty much, it's kind of based on my whole concept of my original book, Cocktail Conversations, uh, where I try to post different things um, in, in regards to you know, relationships, friendships, family, um, work issues, health issues, educational issues, mistrust, loyalty, the dating game, and child drama. So usually it's those 10 core things that I post about, usually day-to-day -day issues. So I, ha I do have a group on Facebook called The Counselor's Corner, and I get a lot of slack because there's people that post it's all about perspectives and people post what they think and feel, but sometimes it kind of ruffles people's feathers and makes people feel uncomfortable. But that's been my whole vision with this because I understand you only grow when you're uncomfortable. If you think you're if you if you think everything is all right, typically you stay stagnant and you don't um have the um resiliency to um push forward. So for me, I know like in many of our families, there's a lot of dysfunctions. So one of the things I wanted to do is kind of talk about um, some of these things. And, you know, over the years, I probably started this like writing posts and stuff on Facebook, like 2013, 2014. And one of the things people used to always say is, man, like, is, is there any happy endings with your um scenarios and i'm like this is in disneyland this this is stuff that i've seen i've known people share st um stories with me and then i post it and it's like oh you almost had me i was into it i was like okay this is going to turn out good and it's like in the twist and turns of the different scenarios um uh, like you would get me again and but that's the thing like um uh, you just never know. And that, and that's a, kind of like a microcosm of what we go through in our households, the twist and turns. Things could be good. Then all of a sudden, one little thing could uh, change up everything. So that's been kind of my whole vision uh, with it based on uh, based on my book, Cocktail Conversations. Years ago, I did blog talk and I had a show called Cocktail Conversations. But then when I said, okay, I'm going to change it up a little bit and have a little spinoff with the counselor's corner. And that was more so me and my thinking space, the counselor's corner, and just putting these issues out there, letting people attack it and letting them be indifferent. Like they may have a whole different perspective than with the average. And I think that's what really irritates people because somebody might be saying something that's totally off the wall that you never heard about but it's their life. It's real. So that's why in counseling, they say there's no such thing as um, reality. It's only perception. So you can't tell nobody that their life is in real when they experience it. That's their perception. That's what they live through. So that's pretty much what the show is based on. Those type of dialogues. So, so counselors, for the most part, that's something they share is that there's no, it's perception, right? It's not your your truth isn't isn't the law for everybody. It's yeah. a, lot, a lot of a lot of it's perception. Mm -hmm. Interesting.